Hello, my computer started making that horrible screeching noise again. So I've decided to use this morning to perform surgery on my laptop. I'm going to disable the speaker wire. I know what you're thinking. It's such a shame to destroy such an awesome synthesizer. But don't worry, I have a plan. I'll get to that later. For now, let the surgery begin. So this is the laptop. I'm going to turn upside down. I think it's important to note that I have unplugged my laptop and taken the battery out before doing any of this. When something is electronic and you're touching its insides, you want to make sure the electricity is not on. With these tiny screws, it's really hard to not strip them sometimes. Okay, surgery is going well. I've got the speaker popping out of the top of my laptop. So I just snip these wires. So now that the wire's cut, just, uh oh. Okay, the LED is popping out. Okay, I've just caused a lot more trouble. Okay, so just get back in there. Okay, um, since I can't get this to go back in its spot, I'm going to cut it entirely and then put a little bit of tape on it just in case some electricity goes through to stop it from shorting anything out. No, I'm not using proper electrical tape because I'm lazy. Just make sure it doesn't touch anything metal. So that speaker is now fixed. And by fixed, I mean gone. I do the same with the speaker on this side. So here's the speaker. And... So that will stop the buzzing once and for all, because without the speakers, there's nothing to make sound. I have no idea what caused this, but there's a bunch of really gross gunk that's formed all around the... Uh, microphone sound card put her in her port jack thingies so um i don't know if that's burnt residue or wax or what caused this but uh i don't know gross crusty stuff fun now for the moment of truth i'm going to plug in my laptop and hope nothing short starts fire or explodes okay the indicator light on the front is on I'm not getting electrocuted or feeling any heat. The buzzing is gone. Look at that. It is starting. Oh, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. It's starting up. It's not exploding. It's not making horrendous noises. And next I'm going to check the USB thing. At first, I was very pissed off that the USB speaker wasn't actually a USB speaker, but at least it'll give me a really kick-ass sound when I play my Nintendo DS. Let's hear what comes out of the headphone jack, shall we? Alright, so I'll turn it on. Turn it up. Some music, see what music sounds like. Pretty awful, I would have to say. I bought this webcam because it has a built-in microphone, so I figured this would be awesome. Um, I can record things. Yay, awesome. But because I actually can't have playback, there's no way to tell if it's recording properly or not. So this is just another webcam for my new webcam collection. I would like to point out at this time that I'm not actually being sponsored by Pleomax. I'm just in Korea and this is one of the cheapest brands and they work with Linux too so that's a good sign. I could very easily use a simple USB sound card like this thing I have here. You plug it into the USB and then it turns into a sound card. 
It's very simple and it's very cheap. This cost me 250 The problem is, this is exactly like what I had before I effed up my stuff. Now, whenever you eff up your stuff, you always want to buy something that's slightly cooler than what you had before. Which is why I bought this guy. This guy is 5.1 audio, and it has volume controls on the top, so I don't have to go to the inconvenience of using the volume things on my keyboard. It's got your rear audio, your center sub, your front audio, your mic in, and your line in. Six outputs, two inputs. Yeah, this rocks. And I put a piece of styrofoam on the top of it, just because it's um, got a blinking blue LED light that's really bright and distracting. Now, I really like blinky light, so I didn't want to stop it entirely. The styrofoam just sort of mellows it down a little bit, so it's not quite so aggressive and distracting. So now I plug it into the USB port. So now I plug this guy into the USB port. So now I plug this guy into either front audio or center sub. And center sub sounds good. Now it's alive. Okay, let's see how this guy sounds now. Success is sweet.